Hi guys, it's Giselle here, and I'm just going to read the two roomy oracle cards that I didn't manage to get through uh, during the end of the last reading because of, for some strange reason my camera cuts me off at 33 minutes and 11 seconds. So um, I'll just do that now as I feel that I wanted to round this reading off really with, with these oracle cards. So the card for us, the feminine, is number 31, Commitment. And so let me just get that poem and read the message attached to that. And it says, Commitment. So the awakened heart is like a lantern. Keep it sheltered from the turbulence of the winds of desire. And that was a poem by Rumi. Um, let me just check. The channeled message is extremely long. But what I feel um, this is saying to us is very, very much in keeping with the other cards that we've had, you know, to release the pain and to be receptive to what is right and to stop going back and forth into your heads and into your heart and to commit yourself fully to if you want to go into your heart keep as much as you can make a promise to keep yourself there and stop going back and forth back and forth commit yourself to staying within your heart basically and so the card for our beloveds is hand of oh dear why is it blurry again Hand, hand of Fatima, and that is number 43. Let me just get the um, poem for that one. Number 43 says... Oh, I skipped it. Sorry, guys. Um, that one says... That's quite a long poem, okay. So, I can never leave you, not for a moment, not for an hour. You are in everything I do. You are my everything. My drink is your sweetness. I move to your command. I am a surrendered prey in your hands, and you are my consuming lion. Your soul and my soul are truly one soul. I swear to our one soul, I long for no one but you. In the garden, of your grace, I am only a germinating sprout. <clears throat> the crown of my blooming is the desire to be in your arms. And that is a poem by Rumi. And so what I feel this is saying is ultimately that we are one soul and that is one thing that we must remember. And so again, as it was urging our beloveds to go into their deepest in knowing and trusting their higher self so that we can be reunited Yeah, we just have to keep on believing and to keep on trusting and to not go within our hearts all, um, sorry, go within our heads all the time instead of our hearts because ultimately we are one soul. And that what I want to close off with is that they can feel us, we can feel them. If we don't trust them, they can feel it, they can pick that up. And so in order for us to be 
in a place of receptivity so that our reunion can come in is to go within our heart and to stop letting our minds control what we are thinking and getting us into this panicky state of doubting and fearing that we will never have what it is that we truly want because we will and we have to just trust and I know it's hard when you can't get definitive time frames or answers to what it is that you are seeking but that's just the journey isn't it that's just the spiritual path is to have faith and to keep the faith in the face of adversity so I hope that this has helped you and thank you all so much for listening and yeah keep the faith basically keep strong and keep on going have a beautiful day namaste